My lovely imps, I have a very strange gift for you today, okay? So in my adventures across the internet, I discovered something that we all tend to really enjoy, which is absolutely embarrassing and painful examples of AI art slop that people willingly post to the internet to embarrass themselves with. And uh, I found some really good ones, okay? I have some really good ones. Now, you all might remember that the last time we did this, we discovered a, a AI film being pushed by an AI guru with a thousand whopping subscribers who was selling his services. And the AI film that we ended up seeing um, was not really a film. It wasn't really a movie. It was more just kind of like a still images that had like a jiggly, like if somebody had put a jello mold over a still image. And the acting, of course, which wasn't present because no one was acting, it was just AI voices, was of course painful. That's where the, oh my God, came from. When the, uh, when the AI character sees an AI robot, uh, AI monster and gets scared and goes, oh my God, and all, and of course the Sakura trees. I sat outside m m m meditating under the Sakura tree. All that type of shit that kept going on in there. Yeah, that one was a blessing. If you haven't seen that, you should go check out my recent video on AI garbage. Okay, but this is a separate one. And I have two treats for you tonight. So we're going to watch two like genuinely terrible... AI commercials, okay? That's what they're being, these are being sold as. They're being sold as AI commercials, okay? So this is the future of, of the world. As you know, as we all believe, you should believe everything that every tech grifter, I mean, tech inventor tells you. And they always have a good prediction on what the future will be made of. Uh, a future with AI tools will not be soulless. It won't be embarrassing. It won't make you want to never look at a screen again in your life. It will be inspiring and you'll be rich and famous and everybody will get to be as good of an artist as that person that you know who devoted the last 17 years of their life learning how to draw hands properly. Because that's what AI does, everybody. That's what it's all about. It doesn't really matter if you're putting soul or feeling or joy or emotions or anything human at all into your art. It just matters if like a bunch of keys it's dangled in front of your face and you go, ah, 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 ah. that's what's good. That's all that matters, right? So anyway, without any further ado, I want to show you AI marketers, uh, uh, incredible AI short film commercial, okay? You guys have no idea what's coming for you. Let's do it. Okay. Ready? Here's how I made a few thousand dollars. And the ad says AI copy so good. It launched a seven figure agency overnight. Now that's a hell of a claim. Oh, a seven figure agency overnight was launched by this technology. Really? Now I'm sure most of you in the audience are thinking bullshit big load of bullshit. And of course you'd be right. Let's do it. Um! Oh, sorry. Holy shit. I forgot how loud this thing starts off. Okay. So here we go. Ready? Um! What? You just have to try this lemonade. <gasps> wow. It's so good. You should. Wow. It's so good. That's my favorite thing. The most realistic, I know that every morning when I get a nice cup of lemonade, I go, wow. Incre beautiful, incredible. Also, I love it when my cup changes from one side of my face to the other. When I'm holding the cup and the cup changes shape when I pass it to my other hand. And also my face changes and my eye color changes. Sell it. Do, do you make these, these mistakes with lemonade? Do you make these, these mistake with an extra two at the end, uh, an extra letter at the end with lemonade? Oh, ooh, did you catch that? Look at that. The letters actually change. 
Oh, it's not even these anymore. This one says throwy. If amazing. That's fantastic. My I that's just it's next level. What was the director thinking? Having the having the sign fall off and all of the letters morph before your very eyes into a sentence that makes just as much sense as the sentence that was written on there before, which is to say none. Function junction car car picked cleaners. I'm actually impressed. I will say I'll give them this. I'm impressed that it made letters at all. Usually when you see these things, it can't make any letters. They all look fucked up. But hey, here's a few letters. They look really weird and janky. And there's like weird blur spots and lines in them that don't really make a lot of sense. And it's all ultimately on, um, on, and also, I don't know what the, why is there's a carpet cleaner coming up. I don't really understand what that's supposed to say. So I guess we're going to find out. Hey, kiddo, want to buy some marketing? Oh my god, it got so loud all of a sudden. I'm so sorry. Hey, kiddo, want to buy some marketing? Wool blurs. High ticket offer. I think that's supposed to say high ticket offer, but it's like the shape. We got the word shapes. Low ticket offer. Interesting. Just give me all your money, and I'll sell all the lemonade you want. Whoa! 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 What was going on here? Here's your row ass. Here's your row ass. Here's your row ass. Lemonade? World's best lemonade. Oh man, that one. Oh, that's fucking weird. Knowledge, bitches! And so the boy and his bot lived happily ever after. But what about you? Oh! Whoa! He shaped, he shape shifted! But what about you? Lived happily ever after. But what about you? Don't get bullied. Don't get bamboozled. Just get the 27BX AI copy codes from billion dollar copywriter Stefan Giorgi so you can automate all of your ads, emails, landing pages, Whoa, and more. Got again. Marketing is hard. Let the bots do it for you. Now I'm just going to say, I don't think you should let the bots do it for you if this is going to be the result. Obviously, um... None of this really made a whole lot of sense. I mean, there is a vague arc. The kid makes the best cup of lemonade. His mother has an orgasm. Um, he, he goes to sell the lemonade. The sign falls off for some reason, which we haven't figured out yet. And then a carpet cleaner shows up. Um, the carpet cleaner is a, a marketing guy who's disguised, uh, well, he's not disguised because he just looks like a marketing guy with pins all over his shirt, but he's in it. He drives a, he drives a carpet cleaning van. And then when he shows up, for some reason also, um, Wreck-It Ralph shows up and the boy wants to have sex with Wreck-It Ralph. And, but Wreck-It Ralph is, he's too, he, maybe, maybe he, he doesn't want to, he wants to give him a coin instead. So he gives him a coin, and the boy is sad, but then a robot comes, and he picks up the boy, and then the boy makes all the money, and everybody is like, super excited because he's rich, and he makes lots of money, and did you know he made lots of money, and he's very rich and awesome, and everybody's happy, and nobody, nobody's mad at him, and he, his wife hasn't divorced him? And then, that's, and then an old man is telling the story at the end. Which, you know, very sensical. Uh, you know, the story makes a lot of sense. Um, what the hell am I listening to? I zoned out for a bit. You haven't, you haven't missed anything. You didn't miss anything at all. You didn't zone out. At all.
Um, yeah, it was, um, it was interesting, right? Uh, wild, right? And, uh, definitely, you know, it's, de it's definitely, I gotta say, it's right up there with Pixar and Illumination Studios, in my opinion. It, uh, you know, it, it basically was just as good as Toy Story 3. It was just as good as How to Train Your Dragon, basically. But it was an ad. Can you believe it? Um, yeah, so obviously, uh, uh, AI slop is, is going to new and amazing places. I also want to point out that um, basically the only thing that this AI ad managed to do was in certain still frames, steal the style of Illumination Pictures, which is really wild and kind of a giant indictment of exactly what uh, a, 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 a proof, rather, I should say, of the uh, of the claim that every AI critic has, which is that actually AI is just a giant stealing tool. It's kind of incredible that these ads have to show off. Look at how well we can make still images look as if this was made by an actual legitimate company that hires actual artists. It's 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 almost like that's its entire purpose. Like the entire purpose of AI is to sloppify everything by stealing the actual work of real people, blatantly copying and creating a product that is unbelievably inferior in literally every single way, but that if they have their way, you'll have no choice but to watch. Now, I want to watch another one, okay? Because we got gifted another one. Now, this one, I have to do a shout out here real quick. Shout out! Shout out to Lucy Sev, okay? Lucy Sev, Lucy on Twitter, shout out. Lucy's one of the best posters on Twitter right now. Big shout out. Love your, love your work, Lucy. But Lucy was the one who retweeted this one onto my timeline, and I wanted to watch it together with you all. This one's a shorter one, but I feel like it'll be just as magical if we watch it together. This one is for Jolt Software. Restaurant management made easy with Jolt. Automate temperature monitoring, protect your inventory, and pass health inspections with ease. Get your free demo of Jolt today. So let's see their AI ad. Let's see how good it is. I want to see what they come up with, all right? I'm going to adjust the audio just in case it's loud. Let's see it together, shall we? Whoops. Hey, play the fucking ad. If a business owner were to install Jolt in their operation, this is what would happen. Within 24 hours, their employees would know what to do. Within 48 hours, their employees <laughs> would be doing it. Within a week, their business would be running smoother than they've ever thought possible. And in a month, the owner would be on vacation. Transform your business with Jolt. <laughs> Click request a demo below now and see how easy success can be. Okay, that's if, actually amazing. If a, if a business owner were to install Jolt in their operation, this is what would happen. Within 24 hours, their employees would know what to do. Within 48 hours, their uh, Oh man. I love Okay, immediately. So these are all still frames. There's no like filmic elements or motion in any of these besides like a camera. But if you pause and look at any of these frames, it immediately exposes itself as completely and utterly a uh, uh, trash. It's so funny that like even Thank you so much. Oh, I have curry. That's so exciting. Um, it's actually so incredible that like all it can produce is still images, but that they have to put the still images in rapid succession so that you don't notice how bad they are. Like real quick, just look at what's going on up here. Why is there like, why is there a, like a ventilation area, a hollowed out ventilation area with a bunch of un unidentifiably weird instruments all up here? Like, you've got, like, something that looks like a garden trowel, like a whole bunch of garden trowels that are, like, weirdly deformed. You've got a thing that almost looks like a spatula, but for some reason has, like, weird nubs on it and lines that don't, that don't actually fully complete. Then you have a fork that's merged with a knife. A knife, which is very interesting. Then you have what appears to be a absolutely enormous bulbous and round whisk that maybe has multiple handles that's an interesting one 
Another thing that I find funny is these things over here. If you look down here, these things are clearly supposed to be spray bottles, but it doesn't, but it has like a, look at the shape of the bottle. It looks like it's made out of cut, cut paper and the actual front of it is like a weird silver green bean that doesn't seem to go anywhere. Also, I love this one here. Here you have a sink, okay? And if you look at the sink, it's it's clearly supposed to be like a like a, a sink, right? You you can tell that it was supposed to it's emulating a sink, but for some reason the left side of the sink isn't isn't it isn't like it doesn't go it doesn't have any depth. It's just a smooth silver layer. And instead of there being a um spigot like a you know a faucet employees would oops. be doing it I'm so within sorry. a week their no, business I didn't mean to press play I wanted to go back here the faucet is coming up out of a bucket and is pointing towards the plates it's really really fascinating just how bad this looks immediately and also of course the ad itself is just literally telling you if you buy our product you will be successful it doesn't even tell you what the product does but let's look at some of the other images let's see if any of the other images uh hold up let's go to the next one all right so here we got oh oh all right so here we got a guy pouring water for a uh a guest now i find it interesting he's pouring the water into his meal and, and that's another thing that AI always fucks up on. And you can almost always tell, um, like, obviously, there's a lot that can tell you that this is AI. It has the uncanny general look of AI generally. But one really funny thing that AI often does is it can get the shape of certain objects correct, but it can't understand the context that object is supposed to be in. So... It's able to emulate images of servers bringing a drink to the table, but it doesn't know that drinks are supposed to go in cups for you to drink. And so instead, you just have this server with a very weirdly shaped cup pouring water into somebody's food plate. And another thing I'd like to point out is Look at the shape of this guy's body, okay? Do you notice anything weird going on with this guy's body? That shoulder to hip ratio is fucking out of this world, okay? That is some that is some fucking whoa, he's like the worm, okay? He's the slenderman, all right? Actually wild. He's got no he has one single leg that protrudes from his torso. One big leg and he just, I'm guessing he kind of hops around like a, like a, what are they called? There's those Japanese onis that are like a, um, they're like a, it's like a blacksmith demon, like a one-footed blacksmith demon. I don't know if somebody's going to know the name. You know what I'm talking about? One, just one large single thigh protruding from the bottom of your body. It, it's fascinating, really. Um... I like that this guy has half of a mustache. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look closely, there's actually a mustache sort of growing out from his nose over here in this direction, and the rest of his face does not have a mustache. Very interesting. Fascinating things going on in the world of AI. Really amazing. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed that with this one overall. There's some weirdness in this one, but this is one of the most... You know, as far as AI goes, you know, he's dumping. Oh, and also he's got a tag on the outside of his shirt, which is a little bit weird. But, you know, I guess that's possible. Um, and, of course, the background makes no real sense. There's, like, an incomprehensible object here. But as far as AI goes, this is about as good as it gets. You don't see AI images that make much more sense than this. You know, yeah, he's pouring the water in there. Sure, he only has one giant leg, and his body proportions make absolutely no sense. But, uh, you know, hey, props to the AI. Let's go to the next one. Let's see what they got in the next one. All right, so here we go. Ooh, wait, this might be the best one we've seen. Ooh, ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh, we already got a problem, okay? So we got the owner here, all right? And you'll notice, for, you'll notice immediately the wine, for some reason, cuts off at his shirt. 
as if his shirt is actually in the wine glass, which is a little interesting there, you know? Kind of funny how that works. Like, uh, the, the, almost like the AI doesn't exactly know what it's drawing, and so it doesn't know that there's depth. It's just kind of emulating other images that it's seen. And of course, over here, you've got this amazingly rendered uh, uh, shutters on the outside of the house, which have completely inconsistent width and depth. The top ones seem to be partially open. The bottom ones are partially, are completely closed. And near the bottom, they just disappear completely into an unrecognizable texture, which is fascinating. You also have the same problem on his shirt, where the 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 uh, the lines, the the stripes on his shirt, are totally inconsistently spaced for seemingly no reason. Now I'll give them credit; they got the right number of fingers, as far as I can tell. But if you look closely here on this finger, you'll actually see that the wine glass is a part of his finger. It's a little bit hard to see, but you can actually see that the shape of the stem of the wine glass is actually in his finger. Which is really amazing. I'm I'm just I'm very floored by the very real decisions that this AI decides to make. But hey, once again, you know this image not so bad. But let's see, does it change anything when it goes forward? Do we see any other details? No, honestly, it's about it. Looks like they just inserted it. Like I don't know. I can't tell what's going on in the background. It's too blurry. Oh, we didn't do the first one. We should have investigated this one. Let's investigate this image. So here we have our guy. I like this one. I like this so far. We got two buttons. One button. This one, this is interesting. So he's got like a double layer thing going on here with his uh, chef thing where it pops out and it's also got this underneath. And there's a button here and a button here. A button here, a button here, and a button here, which I don't know how you're going to get this button to connect to this button. Maybe they're magnetic. Maybe it's a magnetic style I haven't seen before. Um, let's see. Let's see what else we got here. We got to be able to get a better picture of the uh, of the room. Okay. So over here we have an incomprehensible blurry mess. Behind him there appears to be something that looks like a like a fold out bed, or maybe a sofa, or could be a smoke cloud. It, but it's just it's just kind of there blocking the way and it looks like it has legs going down here there's an alligator down here which is very interesting i don't know why there's the head of an alligator maybe they serve alligator head at this restaurant and i'm just being uncharitable um and then of course behind the incomprehensible fold-out bed there is a bunch of very tiny pans and pots and they're so small, they really look like they're like 30 or 40 feet away. But I think this is supposed to be a kitchen. So their perspective's a little bit fucking wonky. There, from the weird smoke cloud, there appears to be one of the handles of the pots over here just sort of grows into the smoke cloud. Which, that's interesting. So maybe this is actually like a sort of interdimensional object and it's and it and it and it it stretches the objects nearby and pulls them into it like a black hole so this is getting this pot is getting spaghettified you know and the garbage definitely looks like garbage which is pretty telling right it's kind of funny that one of the few things that an ai can draw is realistic garbage not too much to analyze on this one there's a bunch of like sort of it's hard to make out much of anything in this. You see the vague shape of pots, but like this pot and this pot are just kind of blurred together and you can't really make them out. Uh, there's the incomprehensible mass. You got the alligator head down here. You got a, a basin on the floor that has that's not drawn circularly. It's got like warbles and deformations in it. Did we look at this one? Oh, we didn't look at this one either. So here we go. This one's interesting. All right, yep, we got the garbage. Things look dirty. It definitely looks fucking dirty. Um, over here, we have what appears to be... I can't make that out. This looks like a tire. There's a tire, and it's stuffed behind something that appears to be flush against the wall, which that's another weird perspective thing. Also, this piece of metal just bends randomly 
in order to kind of make the image be complete so there's no gaps. But if you actually look at the physics of this, this thing looks like it's flush against the wall, but apparently it's set like at an angle and there's a tire emerging from behind it. Oh, look at the sink. The sink has a, sp a spigot coming up out of the bubbles and pointing towards the wall. And also this sink has, um, it appears to have like a second layer. So this sink has like an upraised edge and that edge is uh, totally asymmetrical. It's not drawn parallel to the actual edge of the sink. It's just a random bent asymmetrical uh, 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 wall, you know? It's pretty fascinating, honestly. Up here we have what appears to be a... Um, I think this is supposed to be a stack of dishes, but they forgot to like render the difference between the dishes because the one back here looks like there's like kind of lines in it. Over here we have uh, incomprehensible blurry noise. This looks like a tomato, but for some reason it has like a cancerous black growth on the top. I guess you, if you wanted to be charitable, you could say it's um, some kind of pile of trash, an incomprehensible pile of trash. That's interesting. Over here we have what appears to be a broken toilet, just sort of sitting up there. Can't quite make out the exact shape. Down here we have the top half of a trash can that has no bottom. You can see the bag goes here, but there's actually nothing underneath it. So we've got just like a, a floating trash bag here. There's an old man's head. What the fuck? There's an old man's head emerging from what appears to be a mop bucket over here. It's kind of hard to see. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that out. It's a little difficult to see. But we got old man head. That's an interesting one. So, all right. What do you guys think? Do you think this commercial was effective and artistic and compelling? I guess if you only saw it for like 10 seconds, you might be like, okay, there's some guys and it's telling me to buy the product. I wonder if anybody bought the product. Oh, it has 920 likes. Let's see what the, let's see what the comments say. Wow, technology at its finest. Sounds like very soon people will be losing jobs. AI and robotics will take away jobs. I'm scared. Well, that's funny because um, this, is not, this is not an ad for AI. This is an ad for Jolt Software. So it looks like this, uh, looks like this very real account, Oko Bunch of Numbers, maybe got a little confused. All right, we got another blue check saying fire emoji. We got another blue check saying thumbs up emoji. We got a gif reaction. We got great idea. We got another thumbs up emoji. We got good. We got creative. Here's somebody. Ads that rely on AI imagery are always scams. Hmm. Ad looks awful. Dead internet theory. Why would anybody trust a company that can't even hire an actor for their ad? AI get bent, dead beast. Dead beat. Silence brand. Sounds like a scam. Dang, I should install Jolt so my employees will know how to make advertisements without using AI. AI advertising. Holy shit, at Jolt. Not wrong at. That's weird. That's so cool. I love smoking crack. Don't use AI for your backgrounds. Just hire an actual photographer and artist instead of stealing art. Why am I seeing this ad? Jolt wants to reach people who are located here, United States. Thumbs down. Great idea. No, like imagine paying for a business management service made by a company that can't even make an ad without AI. This sounds great, but can the data your system reports hold up in court? God, I hate this website. Damn, this, this ad seems to be going really well. Oh. Thank you for sh sunshine. Thank you for peanut butter. I am not clicking on that. That is, I don't want to know what that is. I like food. Yeah, I feel like this ad campaign is going swimmingly for them. I imagine they've sold so many copies of Jolt software. Oh, I wonder if they've posted any other AI ads. Let's check and see if they have. Uh-oh.
Uh oh. Uh oh. We're excited to announce our strategic partnership with PDI Technologies. We're excited to we're ex we're thrilled to announce our collaborations with Casey's General Store. We're excited to share our latest collaboration with Dave and Buster's. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Do you think they're really collaborating with Dave and Buster's? Hmm. I don't know. Sounds like a scam to me. Sounds like they might be scamming people. Anyway, uh, I figured we would enjoy our AI slop tonight uh, uh, laughing at it, of course. Uh, the only real enjoyment you can get from AI. Uh, and, and, and I don't know. It's really amazing to me. There's been a lot of people, you know, I've had a lot of conversations about AI in the last few years. It's a, it's a topic that's come up a lot on this channel. A lot of people talking about it. A lot of people interested in it. A lot of people disagree with me. And the AI evangelists always tell me, oh, you're going to see. You'll see. Just you wait. AI is going to take over and it's going to look indistinguishable from the greatest art you've ever seen. And every single time I say, okay. I guess we'll find out then. And every day I'm able to log on and see examples of AI art that don't even pass, that don't even pass the test of being able to be looked at as a still image. They're so uncanny and ugly and indiscernible. There, there's no way you could ever mistake anything that these make for, for anything made by a person. Even the most rudimentary, childish, inexperienced art looks more real than anything created by these things. When a kid draws a picture of like a dirty room, you can go, oh my God, I see what they were, what they were drawing here. I, I can understand that. They'll have a picture of a little airplane and it might look wonky and messed up, but you know that it's, that there's, there's, you can tell there's something actually there. Even bad art, uh, it, you're able to discern things. When you look at this AI art, the objects that are being drawn do not exist in the real world at all. They are complete hallucinations based on uh, the an AI that's attempting to emulate real existing images without actually being able to understand what those images are in any way. When an artist looks at a bunch of pictures of, of uh, uh, dirty rooms to try and be able to portray a dirty room from their imagination for some artistic project, they have things in their mind that they're thinking about. They're not just drawing the shape of what they think a dirty room looks like. They're like... Here's a room. There's something on the floor, a spilled bucket. When you get AI, you have, it knows that, that, that a dirty thing is supposed to look like this, but you end up with a bucket that has half of it missing and an old man head popping out of it. Incredible stuff. Magical things going on. Uh, I'm, I, I find AI, the most terrifying thing about AI is the idea that there is probably enough rich people who are lazy enough and want to cut costs enough that they're going to forcibly serve this AI garbage to people forever. But nobody's fucking fooled by it, okay? The only types of things, well, okay, I should say there are some contexts in which people are fooled by it. For example, when AI is used to spread misinformation. So images, uh, shocking images and misleading images are displayed incredibly quickly and in a misleading setting to mislead people about what's actually going on. That, of course, is dangerous. But when we're talking about art, no one's being fooled by this. No one who enjoys art is going to look at an AI thing and go, wow, that felt as good as when I consumed uh, a, a, a bespoke piece of work. It just won't happen. I just call the bluff. And so far been years of this shit now people have been coming in and saying oh my god don't you see in the future ai art is going to be indistinguishable you're, you're you don't understand what's going on you're just behind the times no dude i can just tell it's not it's missing the core things that make art art okay art is a a thing made by conscious and thinking beings for other conscious and thinking beings it's made with purpose with emotion with passion there is something there it is not mere emulation Art is not simply emulating a shape that you have been displayed uh, uh, in order to satisfy a prompt. Art is not something that is that is just extracted out of out of someone unthinkingly. Okay, artists aren't don't just see uh, don't just have someone walk up to them and go, 
create for me the image of a waiter pouring water into the food of a, uh, 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 you know, of, of a patron. And then they go, yes, master. And then create that based off of what they've seen at restaurants before. That's just not how any of this works. Anyway, AI art is a flaming embarrassment. And I hope, the, I hope you enjoyed laughing at these terrible things with me. Whether it's the lemonade commercial that doesn't make any sense at all, or whether it's the restaurant commercial where every single object looks like something that was, uh, you know, dreamed up by someone whose brain was actively being melted by hydrofluoric acid. Um, yeah, either one. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, make sure you press subscribe to Demon Mama because I got more of this type of fun stuff coming your way all the time. I appreciate you watching.